Happy Wednesday, October 9th. Um, this is Cardoza Park. It's the park closest to our house. And before the elementary school area. Just before. Jay happened to look over at the field. Uh, it's Cardoza Park is where we toss out peanuts for the crows. And there weren't a lot. There was only one. And he just happened to look the opposite direction from the crow that I was putting peanuts out to see if there was more crows. And he saw this group of Canada geese fly in. It's not a big group, but hey, it's Canada geese. And I can be on the field. Okay, so a little closer. And it Jay's suggestion, I changed my orientation so that I'm more to the back. My back is more to the sun that will be coming up shortly so that, well, the light to illuminate the east better. Darn it, if he ain't right. He's smart, one smart guy. Are they going to stroll over and check me out? Nope, they were just kind of heading this direction, but not really. It's getting all excited. Like, yeah, come on over. I'll say hi. I got a little closer. Once again, I'm not trying to cause them to take flight. I just want to get close. And there they're eating. Kathy's got some peanuts in her hand. Trying to entice these two to come over. They're sure talking to her. Okay, we had a Blue Jay show up at the old peanut place. Oh, Kathy's accommodating. Very good. We'll bury it in the leaves with the curb.
Works for him and fine by me. Okie dokie. <laughs> yeah. What's, what, what is it? Is, you know, I'm used to order it and everything. I don't know Here, why everybody... In the area. I hear the clicking. But don't see it yet. Folks, I swear, every time I want to do like a bird video with hummingbirds or other songbirds, the minute I turn on, you know, they're there. And the minute I turn on my camera, they've disappeared. How do they know? Yep. Well, we are fortunate to have two mallard ducks here in the pond below the lower waterfall. I'm going to refer to them as Marvin and Mavis. They're visiting. We haven't seen, we don't get to see them very often any longer, but hey, they come back to check out the eats here. There's the waterfall. And they give a new meeting to Bottoms Up. <laughs> they are enjoying their breakfast. We don't know what's going to show up on the big screen. However, I'm not sure what you do. Okay. The <laughs> uh, pin's not show right there on the tip of the branch is a red tail hawk. Yeah. Trust me. <laughs> Would we lie to you? No. No, there really is. It's just a uh, sigh, this camera. <laughs> this is the best it can do. Maybe we'll get slightly better if it's still on the branch by the time we get it inside the park, which is just around the corner. I'm not seeing them. Are you? You're all the way zoomed? Yeah. Well, you're recording, so on the big screen we should be able to get them. Okay. Okay, we're a little closer. Uh, red tail hawk on the bare branch. And then below on the ground are wild pigs. Be easier to see on a bigger screen. This is a small little viewing screen. Okay, folks, this is about as close as we're going to get. Red tailed hawk on the bare branch on the hillside behind Albiso Doby Park. Jay's going to be feeding kitty cat. At least you can see the two-tone of the red-tailed hawk showing up. The light breast surrounded by dark colored wings and head.
Okie dokie. It's just a little bit closer. If I go any closer than this, because of the trees and bushes and stuff, I lose him. But for now, he's there. Okay, besides having the trash truck picking up at the church next door, we have turkeys on the hillside. Who didn't seem to mind the trash truck picking up uh, the trash? <coughs> Jay's doing his turkey call. That doesn't seem to be phasing them at all. They're just eating. A decent sized group of wild turkeys on the hillside. Okay, the red tail hawk is still on the bare branch. Okay, one last view. We're getting ready to leave the park. The red tail hawk is still on the bare branch. Gosh, I miss, miss my Nikon B500. But hopefully by the time we get it back, it's going to work better than it had been for a while. So that's just the way it goes. turkey vulture on a power pole across the street from the Lutheran Church near the corner of Calaveras and Evans Road. He did have his wing. Ah, there it goes again. Spread out. Same turkey vulture, just a little closer. Oh, just a second. They are so majestic when they have their wings spread out. It's a beautiful bird. I know they don't have the prettiest face, but hey. are soaring in the sky. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's just, it's awesome to watch them. They are such graceful uh, birds up there in the sky. They own the sky. Yeah, I hope he turns more or I'll see what happens if I walk around to the front. Okay, I am right underneath him. Reminder, they do this. They spread out their wings and let the sun shine on them and heat them up to kill any yucky stuff on them because they are scavenger birds. They eat stuff that's not live, been dead for a long time. They don't go catching their prey. They are opportunists. Something's died, been dead for a long time, then yep. We have a small group of Canada geese 
Books to be four at the elementary school field on our return trip.